Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't do it. And that's where you fail. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. So what, what even is the manosphere? Basically, the manosphere is a bunch of guys on the internet telling a bunch of other guys on the internet to go do more work. And, and don't get me wrong, I love the manosphere. I love Goggins, I love Bedros Koulian, but just like any type of belief system or religion or something that you follow day to day, there are going to be downsides, drawbacks, and things that could be better. And in this video, I want to go over the biggest issue that I see with the Manosphere as a whole. The biggest problem with the Manosphere is that it views the entirety of life as a finite game instead of an infinite one. The definition of a finite game is a game with clearly defined endpoints and winners and losers. And if you've ever watched a podcast with David Goggins, a episode of Modern Wisdom with Chris, you understand what I'm talking about. A lot of times the way that the red pill portrays sports, relationships, happiness is something you either win it and it's done or you lose it and your whole life is ruined. Anyone who has spent time in the self-improvement community knows that it is a very numbers-oriented space on the internet. If you can run 26.2 miles, then you've won and you have good cardio and you're resilient. And if you can bench 225 pounds, then you're a gym bro and you're strong. But the reality of working out and the reality of life is a lot more complicated than hitting a number or completing one task. To win at life, you need to succeed and win every single day again and again and again and again. And that makes life much more of an infinite game. In an infinite game, the rules are changeable and the objective is not to win. It is to keep playing as long as you can and develop an infinite game mindset. This should be your goal with self-improvement and in life if you want to live a successful, happy, and fulfilled life. The person that goes to the gym, hits a PR, and then leaves is not someone that I respect nearly as much as a relatively weaker person who goes to the gym every single day consistently because the consistency there is what's respectable. Essentially, it is imperative that everyone in self-improvement develops an infinite game mindset, which is the mindset that the rules can change, stuff can happen in your life basically, but you gotta keep going, you gotta keep working hard because no one's gonna be on their deathbed and they're gonna be like, man, I really wish I worked out one more day that week. I really wish I got a couple more Uniqlo statement pieces. They're not, they're gonna be wanting to spend more time with their family, wanting to take more time to pursue the things that were enriching to their life. And that's why people do self-improvement. They do it to meet people. They do it to become a better person who can have a family, who can have an enriching and meaningful life. And if everyone's self-improvement is gonna stay so goal-oriented and just never even begin to see the bigger picture of becoming a better person in the grand scheme of things, then they're never gonna be able to grow up and evolve into the man or woman that they want to be. So that's my issue with the Manosphere community. A little bit too much thinking in the short term, not thinking about the big picture. And I disagree with that. That being said, maybe you disagree with me and you can let me know in the comments of this video. Here at Refine Improvement, I don't ask for any of your money. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to comment. You don't have to do anything. If you do like the video though, that would be great. So. Thank you very much, and no matter what you do, I hope you have a great day. See you next time on Refined Improvement. Bye.